What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I am genuinely excited to show you this uh, Citron deck. It is the Snakegrass Bicanalith deck. I know this looks like a joke, but I've actually been trying it off stream and uh, it has been extremely effective. Let me tell you how this works. Now it does seem like a little bit of a weird thing that Bicanalith will make everything attack with their health and Snakegrass, which is a high tech, low health minion, there actually is some anti-synergy here. But the synergy really comes from the support cards. Uh, particularly these two cards, one of them is the Photosynthesizer, it'll give a guy extra 2 health and draw a uh, Conjure Random card, and this will double the health of a plant, and both of these work very well with both the Pecanolith and the Snakegrass as a support card. Now the reason why we're running this deck with Citron, Citron is one of the best heroes for Snakegrass, uh, because if you play Snakegrass just on turn 4, it's a very powerful card, very high potential, it'll spread all around the field, but it'll very often get removed that first turn you play it. 2 damage will be enough to destroy it, which means Bungie Plumber, beam me up, there's a lot of things that could take it out. Uh, but Citron actually has a couple of powers that can protect it on turn 5, so if you were to play Snakegrass Peel Shield on turn 5 or Snakegrass Root Wall on turn 5, uh, or even play behind a nut signal, that'll eliminate a lot of the possibilities from your opponent to, uh, to remove it. Obviously, there's still going to be some things that can take it out, like rocket science, but uh, it'll increase its chance of surviving that first turn. And once it survives the first turn, you'll then have many snake rats, and it's going to be very difficult for your opponent to be able to deal with all of them, and usually this will swarm uh, until it completely takes over the game and knocks your opponent off the, uh, off the board. So, um, the idea is to actually play Snakegrass together on turn 5. I was thinking, why won't I just add cards into the deck, other one-cost uh, tricks that can do have sort of the same effect as Root Wall and Peel Shield. So that's why on turn 5, again, you can go Snakegrass with either the Grape uh, Responsibility or with the Photosynthesizer. Now, you gotta stall for the first couple of turns, um, so you wanna play uh, the Galactic Cactus and the... Um, Lamma Pluridon. This is actually, as a stall card, it's a control card, it can take out Toxic Waste Imp, but very versatile, uh, cheap control card running Spike Weed Sector. Um, I am running, recently started running a few Triceratops. This actually gives another, a very, another card that's actually very good, will justify uh, running four copies of Photosynthesizer and four copies of the Grape Responsibility. Now, the Health Nut also benefits very much from the Photosynthesizer and the Grape Responsibility because it does attack again with itself, so giving this extra health uh, will give it an extreme amount of value. The Pair Cup is good both as a control card, it does provide a little bit of hard removal, so we have the four Pair Cups that can do uh, sort of six damage each total uh, together with the Transmogrify um, is really all the hard removal that we'll need. It also works very well with the Galactic Cactus, because if this explodes and does one damage all over, you can then play the Pair Cup to the right side, and it will uh, it will then die and turn into the Big Grizzly Bear. Hope you guys enjoy. This deck is uh, very weirdly effective. Uh, I think this is, this is probably going to be the best Citron deck I've ever done, period. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's just get right into the game. Usually we'll do Citron decks, there'll be some kind of joke, we'll be doing a Donald Trump impression. This is a legit deck though, Snakegrass is so effective if you if you have legitimate support cards to help it survive. Um, so again, against the Smash, against Hardy Heroes, you gotta kind of stay away from the Pecanolith because this can easily be Rolling Stoned. Um, I'm gonna anyway want to look for a little bit early game. Really, we want the Snake Grass and just hope our opponent doesn't have like an extinction event, which is not a very common card. So we do have two, three, four. All right, this should be fine. I'm definitely not running Starch Lord. I could imagine in a deck like this. I usually I'll run. Okay, I'll tell you the history of this deck. I got this idea from the Citron Amphibious deck, which I did upload to YouTube recently at the time of this recording. Uh, I am gonna go with this. Could have gone with Triceratops there. Then the then this would have left into. <laughs> it's fine. Really, just stalling the first couple turns. I might actually develop these two here. What is this gonna be? Landscaper. Uh, I'll tell you about the history of how I how I came to this deck in a second. Landscaper. Um, squirrel. Rats. I saw a dog already, so it could be a control deck because of dog. It could be a pet deck. And it could just be a loudmouth. I'm actually gonna, well, that's a tempo deck. I'm gonna go with. I'm actually gonna do it like this. I do want to develop. 
Um, the Galactic Cactus right now, so I'll be able to play the Parrot Cup next turn if he decides to try to deal with us. So this is a landscape, which is fine. He'll probably go actually go after the 2-2. Two -two. No! Why would he go after the one that grows and not the one he's just going to completely negate? That was a big mistake. Mistakes were made. Let's try Keratops is naturally protected now. I do want to play around Weed Spray, and the way to play around Weed Spray is actually to play this right now. He doesn't, the only thing he can really deal with this with is like an extinction event, not a whole lot. Um, I could just go with the, I'm, I'm going to actually develop the Snake Grass, because again, he doesn't have Beam Me Up, he doesn't have Bungie Plumber. There's no real cheap way for him to deal with this. Extinction event would be the only effective way. What are you doing? You gotta kill the snake grass there. Are you insane? Okay. Okay. I uh, this is he's ranked 46 though. That was that was the real way to deal with it, right there. He figures he'll anyway take them all out later. Feels confused, man. Gonna go like this now. I can always double this up next turn, by the way, if I want. Pecanolith and double the four. That hits. Mog? Why the heck not? I don't wanna have this thing bugging me. Let's just kill whatever this thing is. There you go. It's dead for free. Very nice. That hits. This will explode now. It'll both kill the Gargologist and proc the Pear Cub, and op open up a lane for there to be another Snake Rass this turn. And do five damage to his face, proccing the block. Man, we got him. Yeah, he's gonna need that health. How you doing, Hoovy? Sorry, I'm not paying attention to the chat. I'm paying attention to what this guy's doing in the world. So we have a few plays here. The snake grass is almost impossible to deal with. <laughs> wow. Um, so, 4-4. Four, four. Picanolith actually ruins a lot of damage this turn since uh, this thing's in the field. If not, I would actually just go Picanolith super for the win. Um, so, I will cover this. I think that's it, though. I don't think we do anything else. And this will just make another snake grass. We're doing uh, 12. Oh, yeah, I don't know what happened to the sound. The sound that just, just died. The sounds... Wait. Is it not running through the, to the computer now? Do I have to turn off my... Uh... That's so weird. I don't know what happened to the sound just now. Very strange indeed. Very strange indeed. Oh. <laughs> I see what happened. Did I go with the camel in there? No. Once you get your snake grasses going, you don't need the Picanolith anymore. This is guaranteed leaf. Um, there you go. You know, I have these Bluetooth earphones, and they actually just stole all the sound from my phone there for a second. Got him. Once you get the snake grass going, though, and it's out of control, you actually don't even need any more power. I wish Citron had a card like Sunstrike or like Plant Food that you could kind of just push through and kill the opponent. That's really the one thing this deck is missing, which kind of makes me want to add in like a couple copies of Walnut Bowling. But on the other hand, that was only turn, what, seven there? I'm usually not going to even get to turn nine. 
Uh, Pecanal and Snakegrass, to make a long story sh short, both benefit very much from the synthesizer and grape responsibility. Can we get rid of Pecanal again? This is nice, though. Ooh, boy. One, two, three. This is a really good hand. Photosynthesizer with the dinosaur is also gonna be good. Welcome, Ryan Charles. To the, to the screen. Uh, I'd like to do it like this. The little one damage that's happening to our faces. And all the faces is fine. We'll put that right there. Versatility, we got the Citron Super. I uh, just gotta watch out for that. For that weed spray. Oh boy! The sound is too loud now. Really? Oh, sorry. The audio is very crispy. We have to. Oh, I, I adjusted it actually. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that better? Uh, so our opponent passed, so we could go with, l let's just go with you. Just gotta watch out for that weed spray. It's fine. Interesting choice. Gladiator still lives now. So if we see a pass, I'm gonna just... I'm not even gonna play... Okay, no, we didn't. This is nice. So I'm gonna go with you. This will have five health. There's nothing he can do, do to really take this out. What could possibly remove this? Nothing. So I'm gonna go with this guy. And I'm going to give this one extra health. So this is anyway gonna have five, so this will, this will have six and five. Very nice. Oh, this just became an onion ring deck, you guys. Landscaper, big frickin' whoop. We'll have the protect next turn. Gladiator's almost dead. Weed spray's really not that good if we have this 3 7 on the field. Why not Beta Caratina? Again, Citron's powers are very good at protecting the snake grass. This essentially is a snake grass deck. Now we have to watch out for we for for weed spray. I'm actually gonna go with snake grass here. Very strange play. It's so interesting, onion ring snake grass. Hmm. What is your favorite food? Food is puff pastry. I I'm not gonna play further into weed spray than necessary. I'm actually gonna go with snake grass. He'll have to buff up this gladiator, and if that's what he does this turn, every if he buffs up the gladiator, it's fine. Because first of all, he'll probably end up trading. Yeah, the gladiator anyway will die. And second of all. Uh, yes, can't play. Oh no! I forgot Weed Spray's gonna kill the snake! Oh, that was a mistake. No! That's such a bad play! That is such a horrible play! No! Why? What is with people today? Why would you not kill the snake grass there? In fact, this is just gonna go here now. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Lions versus dolphins today. <laughs> Who cares? I don't think I even want to do this. Okay, I'm gonna do this first. See what else we get here. I'm a slithery little snake grass. Do I even play this card now? There's no point. I do like that. That was so bad. In fact, oh well, we're not even gonna be able to play the onion rings this next turn. Ah, uh, guess we might as well do that. Alright, should have played this first. Is there a huge Giganticus budget deck? You can use the Super Brains one with huge Giganticus for sure. So go look up the Super. Just type in the YouTube Super Brains budget, and that will work with huge Giganticus. It's a great deck. Hey, Fry, you do best. Aww, thank you so much, Space Nelani. You are so nice. 
Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Space Girl. Ah, what am I gonna do with you? <laughs> yes, you really are. Thank you so much, Donnie, for subscribing for the fourth month in a row with the paid subscription. Really appreciate it. You made my day. Thank you guys so much. That's ten bucks. Ten buckaroos. Uh, this one? Just run. Go get him. I'm dying for it. So now the, we have a base snake grass that's a 4 4, by the way. Okay, really? Is that. Come on. Do we have Transmogrify in here still? I think we do. Damn. <laughs> Where's my. Not cool. They see me rolling, swinging. He's just gonna keep locust storming this alien oozing this lane. It's nice that it was locust storm, not alien ooze. Just the nicest ever. What's in the backs? It doesn't matter this heal, by the way. So much damage! In fact, he only has one. Is there any way to... increase the... Is there anything I could do to a 4-4, four four, though? Not really, huh? In fact, you can't even heal now. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him! <laughs> no heals for you! No heals for you! Do not believe in heals. Photosynthesizer to draw a card, not a bad idea. Doesn't matter. Four procs to block, and then we're gonna have a. Um, <laughs> then we're gonna have 10 damage bullseye to face. I don't even need to proc the block. Bum, ba -da -dum, bum, bum. This is gonna be a video, probably. I mean, this deck is. You can just look at what the snake rats are doing. They get out of control every game. It's such a hard card to deal with. One of the games I've tried, and thank you so much, Chicken. Um, one of the games I've, I was playing offline, I did get Extinction Event into the Ice Age. I think I still ended up winning that game because I had enough damage before that point. Extinction Event is real, the real bane to snake rats. Otherwise, it's just so hard to deal with. Even extinction events, if you have a 4-4 four, four snake grass, it's still not good enough because it'll it'll survive and then keep making guys. Felix. A root deck with Star I've tried that many times. I wonder how good this pair cub is. I think we need another early game card. There you go. Perfect. This is sort of Okay. <laughs> that happened. Escape from the more spore curse? What, you've gotten it in packs even? Anyway. I bless you, McBreezy. With all the blessings in the world. Interesting. So the, the 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 this is actually against hardy heroes. You don't want to really keep this. Uh, neither do you want to keep you. I'm gonna look for. All right, th this should be okay. In fact, this will have three four uh, three attacks. So it won't get weed sprayed. This is good. Yeah, I know. How come it's all smashed today? I wonder if I play this. I think I do. Let's just get it going. We do want to play this on the ground too, just to be able to have the option of spike weed, an effective spike weed. <laughs> it's just Citron Bird. The Smash is a good matchup too, because he has the Rolling Stones, the Weed Sprays, the Extinction Events. The Smash is actually the worst matchup. How do you upload a screenshot to Imgur on an iPhone? Just go to Imgur.com. 
Um, so this is fine. This is good. These Triceratops just adds another heavy hitter to this deck. Hello, Hernan. So if he does pass, we're just gonna photo. Wow, that's not gonna help, folks. In fact, this explodes and dies. So we're gonna let these two trade. I won't. I'll, don't let him get the Yeti back. Do we want him to get it back? Nah. So let's go with you. We can actually. Um, we're gonna photosynthesize you now. We'll do it on on this one. I think these two trading is good. Actually, maybe this is better. We'll actually have this bullseye survive. And we're gonna have different ways of protecting it down the line, particularly next turn with the Citron power. I think I'm actually gonna do it like this. I don't think these are gonna really need this for help. There's Pecanolith. Pecanolith with the Triceratops is a combo also. Um, particularly since you're buffing their health and stuff like that. We're coming up on turn four. Turn five really could end up being Pecanolith here. Uh, that's fine. We have a little bomb on the field, but again, our high health, this little bomb is probably going to be helpful. More helpful than anything. Man, we in good shape. If our opponent goes after the Galactic Cactus, I'll just develop this. That's fine. Here comes the spam play. We can also protect and then play Pear Cub if that's the viable thing. What is he gonna do? Camel cross? He's gonna camel cross. And thank you so much, Hockey Dom, for for 200 bits. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So this will have four. This will have only five. So I'm pretty sure it's like this. One, two. This will give us some stuff in our deck. So I'm gonna draw the card here. Which is cool. Yeah, this will have six, six, so we'll, we'll go with this. It's just Camel Cross, but Camel Cross does absolutely nothing here. How over is this game? <laughs> Didn't think so. Didn't think so. I could probably just change it to 3-0 right now. You're gonna grow again. Photosynthesizer. Photosynthesizer is a card. I haven't like found a legit use for this. It's a lot of value. It can make a guy survive plus draw a card. It's so cheap. Um, so with Pecanolith, Health Nut, Snake Grass, and Triceratops in a deck, it's finally becoming legit. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna go with guess with this. Yeah, let's just. Go. It's the most damage. Damn! <laughs> wow! Wow, playing right into that freaking squirrel. It doesn't really matter, though. In fact, the squirrel dies. <sighs> Stupid squirrel. Ah, oh, it doesn't. Okay. still doing just fine. <laughs> Damn squirrel. These are all just growing so much every turn, and just can't keep it under control. It's a health map. We'll probably give extra attack to the health map. <laughs> He's gotta block these Triceratops anyway. It's so expensive. What's the best zombie hero and why? Uh, Professor Brainstorm is, because he is the host of the Valk Trickster Hybrid deck, which is the best deck in the game. This again will have six attack. Photosynthesizer, so much value. This will draw cards and make these even bigger. Really nice, Planet of the Grapes. I'll take that in this deck, for sure. The Dinosaurs. So that was just an example. We did not get Snake Grass. Our Piconolith died immediately to a Squirrel. But it was the Triceratops that were able to take over a game. And there's just so many ways of winning with this deck. Definitely take it. Thank you, Hockey Dom. What do you say? Love your stream? In-game name is Hockey Dom. Sure, I'll try to I'll try to get you um I'll try to get you during the PvC. Sorry, it only rings the message for two dollars. It's just the way I said it. You gotta have a line somewhere, you know. <sighs> okay. 
uh, Rano Kai, I'll look at your deck in just a second. So this is Boogaloo. So Boogaloo, you do want to keep the Pekanolith. Uh, two great responsibilities is a lot, so we'll just keep the one. This is good. This will absorb a lot of his removal, too. <laughs> it's all beastie heroes, though. No more squirrels. I wonder if we go with this on turn one. I think his Lightning Bolt taking this out will actually make the Triceratops better next turn, so... I'd love to see him just lightning bolt this, and he didn't even have it, so that's a really good sign. What's your favorite card in terms of, like, fun value? I'm gonna say Doctor Who. Question is, do we want these to get matched up or not? No, let's go face. Don't forget Boogaloo has Squirrel, no problem. So, what is this gonna be, a Vampire deck? I'm just seeing Energy Drink Zombie after pass. Hard to tell what this is yet. We got a Magic Beanstalk already with Triceratops on the field. Are you freaking kidding me? Wow, just wow. This will draw us a card too. I think even, even Bean and freaking doubling up plant's health right now might even be good. There's a botanist. Right, so this is a vampire deck. It, it, we've seen a frenzy and we've seen this. Um. Twice old noob is up needs ban. Wait. <laughs> Hello. Thank you, wise old noob. So I, I'm gonna draw this, see what we get. This will buff the Triceratops, put another magic beanstalk, and this is so lucky to get here. Let's just build it up. Ooh, wow. Spike weed sector is good. Um, I think we're gonna do it like this now. Got him. <laughs> got him! What does he got? He got secret agent. Get out of there! Get out of there. So, I, I love if the small one just proc the block. Nope. Uh, so it's gonna have to use the lightning bolt there. It's fine. <laughs> Rise, mom. Uh, okay, sorry. So I'm supposed to look at someone's deck here. Someone sent me a, a Rust Bolt Miracle deck. Look, it could work. Cone Zone's kind of useless. This looks okay. It's going to be hard to control people with Rust Bolt. I don't have any objections to the deck list you're running here, though. It's like a miracle trickster. And Border sending me a deck. Sending me a control, um, smash deck. I, I don't think the win conditions. It's hard to play control smash because he doesn't have very favorable win conditions. So I don't think it's going to be good. This Mog is quite good here. Thank you so much, Rudog, for subscribing. Hey, Fry. Happy 16 months. I don't know what to say here anymore. Shout out to chat less than three. Thank you so much, Rudog, for doing the free Amazon Prime subscription for 16 months. Man, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Do I have any other job besides streaming? Nope. This is my full-time vocation. Occupation, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Picanolith is going to be good. We can also just go Health Nut and grow and grow one of the Health Nuts to be extremely large. Wow! So huge investment. Uh, we'll probably do like four and proper blocks. Picanolith, like, yes. Picanolith super wins now. Lightning Bolt. Beautiful. I, I, I understand, Blueberry. And that's guaranteed lethal. Uh, oh sorry, no it's not. Oops, did I just miss it? No. Thought we had six. If we had six, we could've buffed it up and been guaranteed. <laughs> this only ended up doing one damage to face, by the way. Just saying. You see me rolling.
playing around exploding fruit cake. Small nut plus triceratops is guaranteed now. Interesting. Uh, so we haven't won quite yet. <laughs> Hope not. We'll survive with three health. Uh, one damage. I'm a slippery little snake grass. The small nut might end up winning us the game here. This boogaloo uh, without a locust arm is just no way of dealing with this. Fire! Trying to get that one damage in. Should double the small nut. I think the Pecanolith, because if the Pecanolith would have died there, if he would have buffed it somehow or, or damaged it with a couple bungee plumbers, Pecanolith dying would have kind of screwed up doubling the small nut anyway. But the, he can't, again, Lightning Bolt, no, he can't deal with both of these. Even his Boogaloo, I guess his Boogaloo power on, this, on, the, on the Health Nut one. Right? And we're 4 and 0. Bam? Why is everyone spamming Bam? Again, there's a lot of answers. He had some brains left over, later, so there would have been a lot of answers two to, years the, crazy to, think it's to, been that to, long. to doubling the small knight. He could have bungee plumbered. He could have killed the Pecanoloth, which is the main thing that would have been. Um... Bam. <laughs> is that a meme? Uh, Pecanoloth is very good against super brains. Uh, this should be fun. That should be just fine. We'll go with this. So if he plays Doctor Who this turn, I guess we'll just go with the... Well, we could go with Mog. Oof. I... No! What is our opponent gonna do here? Beam me up. What tricks do you play at that turn? Cast beam me up. Alright. Oh, sorry, did someone just subscribe and I missed it? CrossFit, thank you, 20 months, damn. Thank you so much, CrossFit, for subscribing with Amazon Prime for 20 I somehow knew he would just waste his super there, so that's fine. That's such a legit waste of his super. Um, thank you so much, CrossFit. Sorry I missed that. I've just really... <laughs> Stack does take a little concentration, I guess. People waste their super for these little tiny tempo plays early in the game. It's such a legit. Why? I never wanna hear you say. Tell me why. Do we want magic beanstalks? Or do we want this? I think bullseye is better. We're gonna get him down to 12 without a block yet. up the deadly one with the non-deadly one. Looking for cards desperately. Come on, play your leggy. I don't care. Play it right here. What's the best plant hero in my opinion? So Rose and Solar Flare sort of own the best decks in my opinion. I'm 
do damage to my own guys, but I think it's good. A lot of heat here, including this one exploding. Our phone's gonna be down to five health now. Kendall basically just wins the game here. Solar Flare has a few very good decks. One of them is an aggro deck, the other one is just a ramp deck. Man, this guy's crazy. Uh, like ramp to pine clones and uh, stuff like that is very good. Rose, just a ramp, is able to just counter everything the zombies do with Brainana and Dragon and stuff like that. Of course, Feral's the wrong one. And that's the way the news goes. Fire! Fire again! Five minutes. This Citron deck is so good. This Citron deck is the one, you guys. I seriously think this is top tier. This freaking snake grass deck. It, it still, uh, it would be top tier if there was a way to. If this, if if the Smarty class had a card like Sunstrike or something like that, or just like Espresso Fiesta, I think they should turn Espresso Fiesta into a seven cost card and make it Smarty. That would be good. Just like a clear way of pushing through the lethal. HG. Ooh, this is looking. This is looking okay. I guess we need another early game card. I'm gonna keep the snake grass actually. Alright, this is fine. I don't know what I'm, what that is actually. I'm sure it's just one of these um I can look it up. I'm sure it's one of these things. I, I, I know much more the... The, um... Anyway. Expressions in other languages are some I'm more aware of and some I'm less. Put it that way. You know what? Let's just do this. A Sheikr? Please have two health. Two attack. Who health? Yes! Yes! Wow, really? You're so annoying. You know what? We can kill this with Spike Weed Sector now. Spike Weed Sector also denies in the brains. So we'll probably do that. You did it! He's doing okay. See you later now. I don't think professional decks. And thank you so much, Mob Legend, for subscribing. I really don't find professional decks to have enough synergy. You know, how many professional synergy cards are there? One? Two? One and a half? What could go wrong from playing Snake Grass here? It's just beam me up. Snake grass is so good next turn. Alright, let's do it like this. It'll be snake grass and two uh, super. I, it, the, the snake grass is so good with protect next turn. In lieu of just, it's only, it's probably running barrel barrels in this deck. Uh, the only thing that could really get it is Rocket Science, which I don't think a lot of huge Giganticus is. Maybe. If he's running two, the chance of him having with five cards in his hand anyway. I'd love him to barrel barrels in lane one right now, and then actually Snake Grass protect in lane one and just neutralize the Doctor Who. That that barrel of barrels getting out of his hand right now would be... Really? And the fail of the century just happened! Wow, that was so sad! That was so sad. He's going to make a plane to lane 1 too now since that's really the only free lane. Snake Grass Protect is so good. Thank you again, Hockey Dom, for making it rain. Let's see it rain here. 
Ugh, really? Two damage bullseye is a little bit sad right now. Man, I could just go with this if I want. Let's start the snake grass train. This is just fine. This draws a little bit hard too. It's really necessary that this draws this card. Really adds a ton of value. We can double double up this one to so many things we can do. Triplication. We're really far ahead in the snake the snake grass. We just gotta watch our health is the main thing. That's why this boss is getting sad, but he's gigantic. Maybe I should just double up this one. So be it. Lane two dying, he's gonna have to put a barrel in lane one just to just to kill the snake grass there. He didn't have that barrel before though. I don't think he has it. No, he doesn't. Damn. Barrel of Barrels is like the ultimate play around card. It's so good. We're just getting another Snake Grass here, by the way. La di da. We do have a Galactic combo right now. We have the double Galactic combo right now for one. Uh, we don't even have enough lanes to play, but that's okay. And he hasn't had any Barrel of Barrels. So, what is he gonna. How is he gonna take out Health Mode without Barrel of Barrels? Can someone please explain? There's no deadly minions that could even survive here. That sucks slightly. Oh, that hurts actually. Four, five, and one. You know, if it throws a Garg here, we win. It's gonna throw two Gargs. Okay, well, it would have to throw both of them into Grand Lanes, then we'll win. Otherwise, there's a, a lot of things that go right here. Including the Garg throwing Garg dying. Now, he got this from a buried treasure, I think. No, okay, pretty good. <laughs> Actually, extremely good. It's good there. He could throw a Zombot and win the game. He could throw a Zombot and actually completely win right now. Well, that's not great. In fact, he would have had... If he would have thrown both of them on the ground, it would have been... Would have been like that. In mine. Just for mine. That happens. Dickweed. I never want to hear you say How do you know our, the opponent disconnected? save this. It doesn't do enough here. It'll kill this after two turns. I haven't seen an environment. It's probably not running any environments. Wait. Super environment environment guy. Must have an environment though. How come our opponent hasn't played a superpower yet? Teleportation station, freeze environment. Did our opponent play the freeze environment? I don't remember. Uh, I think you can get corner. There it is. So weird. Wait, no, that was from the thinking cap. Okay. Deadly. Deadly doesn't do anything there. Really? Still the 
This is doable. has four cards. I think it's the bullseye way is our best shot here. We actually want this to die. What if he teleports something in, though? gonna win now no way wow wait no hold on no, wait no this only has four attacks he has three health that doesn't matter at all hold on this is gonna heal for six though this is gonna heal for six Without the heal, we would have won. We actually would have won the game. He healed for six and he ended up with five health. So the Nurse Garg ended up winning the game. Come on, man. <laughs> five and one. That could have gone horribly right and horribly wrong. Uh, you made a thumbnail for this deck? <laughs> Is the snake grass part of the... I'll, I'll, I'll save that. I don't know if I want to make another Trump-themed Citron deck. But it's a pretty good meme. I'll keep it as a meme, probably not use it as a thumbnail. Okay, here's another smash. Another smash! This is good enough to keep, actually. We're gonna swarm it. It's actually a swarm strat now. Never consider this deck could just be a zoo deck. <clears throat> Should pineapple go on pizza? I'll save that in the meme folder. I never wanna hear you say I think I'm just gonna do one of them. One of them. I should run Brainanas, you're right. Brainanas would probably make this deck better. I don't know what to take what I would take out. I'm not quite sure what I would take out because the, the this happens. Plays around weed spray. Nicely. <laughs> it's, uh, abort! Abort weed spray! Just heal! It's fine. <laughs> he doesn't want to get his. Okay, so fine. Proc the block? Yes. That was cool. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pickle. Dickweed. Medic! Medic! <laughs> we'll protect anyway next turn.
Health nut. I think you're really gonna be lacking in the three slot though. I'm gonna consider making this deck again, running Brainana Dragon, actually perfecting it more, or trying it with maybe Brainana Dragon, Walnut Bowling, some of those cards. I'm not really sure how many of each. That proxy block, amazing. We are in such great shape here. Our opponent can't afford to weed spray, it's too many brains. There's health now. Err, I'm a vampire. Nobody cares. Like, seriously. Zero people care. Oh, baby! I'll take a card. I'm just gonna have a lot of magic bean stocks now. And that's the way the news goes. Six and one. Didn't even need it. Didn't get the Cadillac. Didn't get Snake Grass. Still won. Didn't get Triceratops either. <laughs> and we still won. On the virtue of Health Nut. Health Nut does a lot of damage. It's a, it's so good with, again, the 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 Grape. We haven't really had a good Health Nut Grape responsibility yet, I guess. But uh, it's so good with Grape responsibility and Photosynthesizer. We really haven't had any of the games that Health Nut carry. That's why I'm hearing maybe a little bit in the chat, uh, remove Health Nut. But there's sometimes you can just win with health nut. You just they commit health nut, great responsibility, and they 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 yed. Against infinity, this should be fine. Let's look for another early game card. This is okay though. This is alright. What was his deck? Yeah, I don't know. Alright, so this is gonna be our opponent's. What does he say? What's this guy's name? TVZ is the best. <laughs> With a lot of T's. I don't like the two damage bolts I have in the turn. What's the best event cards for each of the classes of the plants? Uh, interesting. I don't have a list of the event cards. I, I, if I go into the connect to the collection, I'd be able to do that a lot easier, obviously. 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 So this is gonna go here. The snake grass is gonna end up being a little bit further up. Okay, so, I mean, we have Grid Answer to Toxic Waste in this deck. It's called Lime of Corridon. We are getting in trouble here. Oh my god. Wow, not rolling well. Not getting in our, our amphibious minion too. I mean, again, we have a legit answer to this.
If we had a smaller card, we could actually do it here. No, the idea is this dies. This dies, explodes, and does four damage. We don't have two small cards. If we had some, some early game, this would be doable. Anyway. Yeah, he just has to pass him though. And we didn't block. Our opponent hit us so many times. Look at our block meter. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. We would have had a new environment. That was just so dumb though. Literally, if our block meter would have behaved there, we we could have gone back to the game or if we were gonna live with Pluridon. Do you prefer Citron or Beta Caratina? Citron's powers are way better than Beta. Particularly with snake grass. Speaking of which, it's fine. The Canalith is a huge finisher with photosynthesizer and great responsibility. Oh, that's right. What's your thought about the legalization of weed? I, I'm not a weed user, so... Whatever. Uh, we're not gonna really have enough... Well, we probably will, actually. Hmm. Alright, let's save them. No rush. Man, we can't even barrel this, which makes this play so good here. You lit Luigi's not you. You live in canon. I don't think we're gonna invest anything more into this, so let's go with them. Um, hmm. Go with snake grass here, actually. He's not gonna be able to well, barrel and rocket. Let's just go with this. Wow. <laughs> Take out the snake grass eventually. Just smoke them. This isn't a bad play here, actually. <laughs> Happens to be these two trade beneficially now. Rocket science is so slow. Once the snake grass is already multiplied, it's just so slow to rocket science. Oh, should do seven to his face here. Doesn't kill the snake grass, that's the our, our walnut instead. Box of block, perfect.
Really? <laughs> wow. Really? So, down to one. Just gotta kill this freaking thing. And another one bites dust. Well, salty losses today, but the sex just kicking it. It's possible to make a better two, you're right. Maybe get rid of. I don't know, it just feels weird getting rid of the Pecanolith, especially when we have the, all the health buffs. It seems like they just. You need so many cards to benefit. I'll tell you the thing. I'll tell you sort of the the trick of this deck is that great responsibility and photo and photosynthesizer are good cards, but they're only going to be good if they can be used on so many different, you know, if they have a lot of different uses in the deck. If they're only good with one card like Snake Grass, it's not good. So that's why Health Nine and Canalith are sort of necessary. I think this is fine. Paracup is good enough. If Cactus dies on a one health Pharaoh, what happens? That's a good question. Not quite sure. If this absorbs a Rolling Stone, it'll make the Triceratops better next turn. So let's do it. I'll put this earlier so the Triceratops can do later. Probably gonna try Triceratops. Even though this is so good for these. I'll get another. Another one bites at this. This will be the last game. <laughs> Speaking of which. Speaking of which. Chances of exactly a second Rolling Stone. You know, what, he was running four and he had two in his start again? Something like that. Kill the cat lady here, actually. Do we? Such an interesting play. I'm gonna do it like this. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I'm You know, maybe four or five. We'll just do it like this now. Alright. I'll save this now. Just because we got the spike weed sector, I'm gonna save this for a pair of combo. I'm doing great. I feel great. I'm a little tired, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling really good today. Feeling good about this deck. So. The username is just fry up, yeah. Capitals don't matter. That is so slow, though. Oh, so the snake grass. I thought it would feel like right here at that point. An environment would be really cool. Get it. Gotta deal with the thing. Ugh, if we had an environment. Didn't have a protection card. Just a photosynthesizer would have been amazing here. Would have really added a lot. Yeah, well, with that heal, that means our opponent has has only two cards in hand, and one of them is a lunchbox. Mm. 
That's a real good thing. Good thing you didn't get that Yeti back there, too. Then one of them would be better to take. Fair Cub works really well in lane four. That's good. That's a card draw card. I'm having it. We really need an environment. It's bad for the environment. That's what he got from the Yeti, though. Is it? It doesn't show it for very long. It's actually useful information. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is fine, because we don't want him drawing more cards. That would be the worst. That actually dies. Interesting, but absorbs a whole lot of heat. I don't know if that's a good thing. I give priority to the people who donate just out of gratitude, but uh, otherwise I play with everyone. Here we go, perfect. Finally. Oops, I did it the wrong way. My bad. It's okay. You know what? It's fine. Last card is a... I don't even know. Wait, was it better to... No, it was better to... Well, then we could have played a pair cup. I don't know if that was actually bad, to be honest. What's the best card you can get? Photosynthesizer is probably the best, actually. Oh, I didn't time him out for inappropriate language. I timed him out for being a immature baby. Gross the DMs are sending me a candle. Is this from the daily challenge today? The game sound is messed up. Is that eight and two? Wait, are we seven and two or eight and two? No, oh, that was eight and two. I'm so spaced out. All right, everyone. This is Fry Spacey. <laughs> oh, I'm so spaced out today. I blame the space, the space people. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. That was amazing. Peace.